Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to talk about app images. Uh, so previously, I talked about flat packs and how you can install those to um, most Linux distributions. And in this guide, I'm going to show you how to download and run app images. Uh, so app images are apps that are all packaged together in this one image, and you can download them, make them executable, and then they'll run without um, installation. So you don't have to follow any install guides or anything like that. You just download them permit them to run and let them run. That's what it's saying here. Download an application, make it executable and run. There's no need to install, no libraries, no preferences. And uh, you can distribute, so for developers, they can distribute their apps to all these uh, Linux distributions without having to worry about um, whether they're gonna work or not. So where can you get app, app images from? There's a place called appimage.hub. So um, you can look here so for instance VS Code I believe comes as an app image so if we look at programming so here's a good one PyCharm for developers and all I have to do is click download so with that downloaded I can now go to my file browser and if I go into my downloads folder You can see I've got this app image down here. And what you need to do is make it executable. So you go into the permissions tab and you can allow that to run. And now if I double click it, PyCharm community now loads and I'm able to develop software using PyCharm. So that's as easy as it comes when it comes to getting applications running on your computer. Now the thing about app images, there aren't actually that many of them and you won't find all of them here because um, if I went for Etcher for instance, that is an app image and you can download that and I quite often use that um, as a way of installing for Linux. Um, but that does not appear in the app image hub for instance, if I search here, Etcher, that's not there. Now, whilst app images are convenient in that it's just a single download and then changing the permissions, uh, it's worth noting that, uh, that they're not as convenient as, for instance, a flat pack or a natively installed package. For instance, if you want to update it, you have to go and download another version of the app image if there's an updated version of it. I would generally stick to um, not using app images, um, except for things like Etcher. Uh, so Etcher is a read-only tool that f formats a USB drive and puts on um, an ISO image onto that USB drive. And it's a very set process, three steps. Pick your USB drive, pick your distribution and flash an image to that um, USB drive and it's fairly straightforward um, so in that instance I, I actually recommend using app images for that. Uh, what is worth noting so you saw I downloaded PyCharm, PyCharm is not going to appear in my menu here so I'm not able to run it from here which um, isn't ideal so you kind of have to remember where you put them so leaving them in the downloads folder isn't the best place to put them. So you kind of want to put um, them in a folder that's easily accessible. Um, you can create launches for them. Uh, so for instance, if I turn off the permissions here, uh, I'm going to create a folder under Gary and I'm going to call it App Images. And in that folder I am going to put two files. I've got an Etcher file and I've got the PyCharm file. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that into the app images folder. So from the terminal I can make either of these executable by going into cd app images and I can do you can see that Belina is already executable because if I go into there you can see the check mark is checked. If I uncheck that check mark, go back to this window and do ls, you can see it goes back 
they're both grey, which means they're not executable. So you could do change board plus X and name the file. So in this case, I can just drag that, right click, copy, and then paste. Uh, it's going to warn me. Um, if I do that, I do a less again, you see that one's changed, and I can do the same for PyCharm. And I can run either of these, so I could copy that file there just by doing dot forward slash in the name of the app image that will now run as you can see and the same can be said of PyCharm and you can see that's loaded So what I can do is I can come over to my desktop within Zubuntu, for instance, and do a crate launcher. And I can call it um, etcher. And all I've got to do is dot app images. Well, I could actually just go and find the file. And there you go, it, it runs. So if I want to create one for PyCharm, I just go to this folder here and click on PyCharm. And there you go, PyCharm's installed as well and running from the launcher. So it means I don't have to find it in my downloads folder, it's a launcher on my desktop. But it's still not going to appear in this list here. So that's all I wanted to talk about with um, app images. So it's another way to install packages to your Linux operating system. So you can see you can use your native package manager, you can use flat packs, and you can use app images to install to most Linux distributions. And that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.